So today we're going to be previewing just an amazing piece of automotive history. 1951 Nash Healey. Not many people have seen one of these in person. Before this particular example, I've only ever seen one in person at a Concorde d'Elegance. And I never would have dreamed that this would be a car that we would acquire and bring back to life here at Auto World of Conway. So we'll take a few minutes so we can preview this car and understand exactly her true condition because I don't know where the end user or where she might find her next resting place and caretaker. But this video we're going to use to illustrate her true condition. Is she perfect? Absolutely not. Is she amazing to find in this condition? Absolutely yes. So this car has been in storage since the early 80s in Charleston, South Carolina. And that's where we acquired it along with a multitude of other rare and unique um, gross British and domestic cars. And I thought originally this may have been an original paint car, but under very close inspection, uh, it is not. So a hundred of these were made in 1951. This car number 2100 is the last or the hundredth car produced that propped up there. So this would have had a Nash Ambassador engine. So these heads were porous. This is a 53 model head. And you see there, I've got detailed photos of the engine number for the long block fuel carburetors. So again, that intake and head setup is off a newer car. So this came in two, two different colors in 51. This color in a maroon. And one of the most impressive parts of this car. I don't see any evidence of collision damage anywhere. This is an aluminum body. And the last one by Panel Craft produced and all the panels are just the way you would expect them. Let me get a better look down here this way. So we did a fuel system, a complete flush, and ignition system and coolant. We were lucky to actually locate an original thermostat housing, NOS, for this car. She just runs beautifully. It used to have wide white wall tires and we have these one inch wide, one inch from the rim. 205, 75, 15 is a little bit bigger than factory. I think this had 165s originally. So all the chrome, you wouldn't want to have to source uh, any chrome for this car. And most of the chrome is in very, very good condition. A little bit. You can see, hopefully, there. And this piece here on the hood, which again, I would hate to have to find one of those. So you can see some paint damage in various places. Um, I, I've not found any Bondo on the car, but everywhere that I look, I see bare aluminum. Again, up here, a couple, couple places. There. So, the very straight, very, very straight body. The paint was uh, oxidized tremendously. And so, you'll see in our photo gallery uh, photos of the condition in which we found it. 
which was very dusty. But boy, she's beautiful today. Leather interior. Seen these in the Millie Migley race in Europe. The burgundy one that's been floating around, absolutely stunning restoration. I've also seen a green, a mint green 51 also. So no carpet in this car. Leather upholstery. windows roll up the glass is all good and this is actually paint from the rocker that actually attached itself to the door panel you see an overdrive button here so three speed with overdrive only thing missing on this car this horn centering I've got a a coffee can, believe it or not, of most all of the components, but uh, I'm not certain how it goes back together. We must be missing something. Fuel gauge is inoperable. The amp gauge and oil pressure gauge do function. Temperature gauge not at this time. We'll exercise this top for you in a moment. It too is in great condition. Well, I say matches the rest of the condition of the car. Sewing signs of age. Here on the deck lid, a couple, a couple other spots. The body lines on this car are just absolutely outstanding. Couldn't even spell Healy properly. And then two, two marks right there. rear bumper in great shape. The exhaust note on this car is truly delicious. Straight six. So I've been under this car and she, she's beautiful. Uh, original condition, maybe restored at the same time the exterior was, I, d I don't know. The previous owner of this car was in his late 90s, passed away, and we were able to help the estate. I'll now offer this car to you. So I don't have the tonneau cover for the passenger compartment, padded dash, again if that's original it's in amazing shape, I don't know. In the boots here, we have some extra goodies. I believe these to be the original carburetors that have carried along with the car. Maybe, maybe not. And here's the coffee cup with the center section for the horn steering wheel. Not sure what that is or even that it belongs with this car. Have the matching spare along with a couple of the jack tools. The shock towers here in the back. Again, no evidence of collision anywhere.
nor a rust. An extra shifter again. I'm not certain if that belongs with this car or not. We'll do this. I'll pause for a moment and try to fold myself inside. I'm six foot four. See, maybe we can fire this off so we can listen to that harmonious sound. wooden header panel there with this metal bracket attached. Three clips. loosened now back window fairly clear and only this one here has a little tear damage to it are inside the 51 Nash. Got my race car driver here. Let's go for a buzz around the block. So you see the odometer moving. The speedometer, excuse me. So it's rush hour here at Automotive Conway. Wait for a clearing. Thank you. 